male, multiple gunshot wounds to left and right chest, is that correct? If you're an outsider, this looks like total chaos. But if I see unity in that chaos, there's a team here coming together to save someone's life. We're starting our senior year as ER doctors. I had heard this was a very difficult place to train. It's one of the most challenging places to work. The gap between thinking and acting is minimal. There is so little tolerance for mistakes. This isn't very good. What happened? During Code Black, it feels like the place is going to blow up at the seams. I knew being a doctor anywhere else was not going to cut it. I knew that my life had to mean something. My dad was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. I wanted to have the ability to help somebody who needed it. It scares the hell out of you, and it makes you have to work hard, and there's no excuse. Part of what we're trying to figure out is who we are. The people in the emergency room were just different. I really don't work out that much. <laughs> <laughs> You're seeing people usually in the worst day of their life, helping them cope with that moment. I don't expect that to ever get easy. It really is just about doing the right thing for somebody. When we started this, it seemed so simple. We were going to help people. But as a doctor, the system is sometimes bigger than you. It becomes this bucket of paperwork of saving somebody's life. You work so hard, and all it takes is one thing to kind of topple it all down. You have to ask yourself, how do I protect the ideals I came here for? The crushing regulations on hospitals, they're tying your hands. People that need help are turned away. It's heartbreaking, soul-crushing, actually. People leave because they can't wait anymore. The doctors of this hospital believe we can do better. Someone is suffering, what are you gonna do? It's about these moments that are big, that are larger than life. We're in a crisis situation. I think those are pretty high stakes. It's a team fighting to save someone's life. 